Hello and welcome to Container Bytes. In a previous video, we took a look at different GPU sharing strategies on GKE. In this video, we're going to look at one of them specifically, MPS. Let's talk about it. The multiprocess service, or MPS, is a different way to write CUDA program that works well with the same tools and libraries. It's made to let CUDA programs that work together, like MPI jobs, use HyperQ on the newest NVIDIA GPUs. MPI processes are often allocated individual CPU cores to provide CPU core parallelization of potential AMDAL bottlenecks. This can lead to underutilization of the GPU when the MPI process is accelerated using CUDA kernels. The multiprocess service takes advantage of the inter-MPI rank parallelism, increasing the overall GPU utilization. MPS is a binary compatible client-server runtime implementation of the CUDA API. It consists of several components, control daemon process responsible for starting and stopping the server and coordinating client-server connections. Client runtime is built into the CUDA driver library and transparently used by CUDA applications. Server process serves as the client's shared connection to the GPU and enables concurrency among clients. MPS allows kernel and memcopy operations from different processes to overlap on the GPU, resulting in higher utilization and shorter running times. MPS allocates one copy of the GPU storage and scheduling resources shared by all its client. While without MPS, each CUDA process allocates separate storage and scheduling resources on the GPU. MPS is especially great for those times when you are scaling up your compute capacity but the problem size stays the same, leaving resources underutilized. By letting different processes launch kernels at the same time, MPS gets rid of unnecessary serialization and gives you a nice boost in performance. I'll be sharing a link to the official NVIDIA docs about MPS and how it works. Let's go ahead and create a GK node pool with the GPU with MPS enabled on it. Here, we're using the gCloud CLI tool to create a new node pool called MPS on our cluster Gen AI. The machine type is A3 High GPU 8G, by default, a GK node has a maximum of 108 pods, but because we have eight GPUs in our node and each GPU has 24 maximum shared client of MPS, so we set it to 256 just to be safe to have more pod available to run on the same node. We also set our GPU sharing strategy to MPS and GPU driver version to latest. I've already gone ahead and created this node pool so we can see our node with kube control get nodes. And here we have our MPS node. We can see the description of this node pool by kube control describe no name of our node. And here, if we look at our allocatable resources, we can see our capacity of pods is 256 and number of NVIDIA.com GPUs is 192. Again, that is the eight times 24 number that we looked at earlier. Now that we have our GPU node pool, we can create a workload that is going to use that GPU. Here we have a simple Kubernetes job definition. The name of the job is CUDA simple and we want to run 192 copies of it parallelly. For MPS jobs to run on Kubernetes, we have to set host IPC to true. We set the appropriate node selector to target our node with the GPU. And we have our workload defined as running NVIDIA SMI and list all the GPUs the container can see and then sleep for 30 seconds. For our resources, we set our NVIDIA.com GPU to one. Let's go ahead and run this job. Keep control, apply, dash F, mps.yaml. We can see all our pods with keep control, get PO. We'll see our pods are pending. Quick count with word count and see we have 193 lines with the top line with the description. So we have 192 pods starting up. We can check our pods again. We'll see that they're running. And in about 30 seconds or so, we'll see all these pods will turn to complete it. And in a few more seconds, all of these jobs get completed. If you take a look at the logs of one of these pod with kube control logs, we will see that we see GPU 0, NVIDIA H180 gigabyte. One interesting thing to note here is that each of these pod are seeing one H180 gigabyte GPU, even though in reality, they might have much smaller chunk of it because we are sharing the same GPU with 24 clients. This is because MPS is software defined isolation where each client will see the full GPU, but will only be able to use 
the maximum memory divided by the number of clients per GPU. Before you decide on MPS for your workload, there are a few limitations you should know about. MPS on pre-Volta GPUs have limited capabilities compared to GPUs in and after Volta. NVIDIA MPS also requires us to use host IPC equals true. The host IPC configuration allows container to access the host resources, which may introduce additional security risks. The maximum number of clients that can share a single physical GPU is 48. Pre-Volta, that number is actually set to 16. When planning your NVIDIA MPS workload, make sure that each of the workload is going to get enough resources. There are some additional application consideration and limitations that are listed in the official NVIDIA documentation. In this video, we learned what NVIDIA MPS is, why it is useful, and how to use NVIDIA MPS on your GKE nodes. In a future video, we're going to take a look at other GPU sharing strategies on GKE.